All right, so in this video, I will show you how Huawei made any other router pointless or the the, the mesh solutions they sell or the, the mesh solution other manufacturers sell because if you have a small apartment or whatever, you can go, you know, away with, with one of these, just configure it, leave it somewhere, have your Wi-Fi devices connected to it. You have a bit of limitations here because it has a WAN port and only three LANs, but you can use a, a switch like this, yeah, to, to get rid of that. But what if you have a house and um, you really need um, to cover the blind spots? That's what I did here, and that's what I'm saying. This little thing here is very cheap. Yeah, uh, they are under 20 euros, and um, they have quite a nice feature. So first of all, this is a router, and it's not the the strong version of it. It's the dual core. What I did was connecting the the internet in the van port. I have configured it, and here, yeah, in this in this first LAN, I have connected the other one if you if you check here yeah i have connected the van port on this one and this one i have set it up as a repeater yeah and here this cable here you will see this is my my laptop yeah so uh i have another video how how i did the troubleshooting session and and, and so on i had quite a few few problems with it that I saw for the first time with browser and some sort. So this is the view that I have for the main router. Yeah, you will see it here. This is the main router. And um, uh, if you click here, I have three devices connected. So this is the main router and this is the, the repeater. Yeah. And this is the laptop that I was talking about and, and one phone. Yeah. Um, let's try to do a speed test to see what we have. So now the, 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 the both, both devices are connected via cable. So this should be the max speed that I have from my internet, yeah, via the cable. Like I said, I have a gigabit connection, but uh, this uh, may vary. It really depends on the well, on the usage or on the on the network and some sorts. So I have it here. Now, please keep in mind that um, my phone, yeah, that you see here, is connected to, to this this guy here, yeah. So this to this one, as you can see here, yeah? so not not to the main router. But even if this is this is purely wireless, yeah, I'll try to do a speed test now. Let's see what we have. Yeah. So on wireless, I have better speeds now that i had with my uh, with the cable yeah from my laptop and like i said this one varies a bit it depends on the internet service provider and voila yeah you can see here this is the the other device yeah i was using and um, you can see here it, it detected the cable yeah so that's why this one is so um, so fast yeah I have disabled the 2.4 gigahertz uh, wireless because I think it's low anyway uh, the the main advantages of, of, of this one is that you can use those little guys in a mesh network I have three I will use it in my house to, to cover the blind spots but this one you can use as a repeater even with other manufacturers like TP-Link or I don't know whatever D-Link or ASUS, so if you have the main router, you can connect via wireless uh, to this device here. You could use it as a repeater, yeah. And basically, you can create a, 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 a mesh network that way. So, for the money, I think this is absolutely a best buy. Those, those are under 20 euros, yeah. The dual core version, the quad core version is a bit expensive. Uh, I don't know exactly the difference. I didn't feel it. I know that the, the quad core version has here an NFC and you can connect your, you know with your phone like put it here this one doesn't have it and um, I don't really need that so <laughs> you know whatever and from for my network I'll use this as a router like I said I'll put those as a range extender yeah to, to to make my mesh network but connected via cable because that's how you will get the speed uh with like i said with with 
any other mesh uh, network solutions that you will find from Huawei or whatever other provider. If you don't use cable between the devices, uh, because of the range and the links there, they need to configure wirelessly, the speed will drop. And that defeats the purpose, at least from my point of view. I don't want slow speeds in my house. I want everything to, to run smoothly, yeah. And um, for the, the the lack of ports, like I said, this, this router and also the quad version has one fan port and uh, three LAN ports, yeah, so those are like a few, but I will use a switch, yeah, so this switch is very cheap, it's from, from Mercury's, uh, so, so it's it's a gigabit switch with eight ports, it's, you know, <laughs> obscene, like, like cheap, yeah, uh, and you can go, I don't know, in the future, creating even higher, like 2.4 gigahertz or whatever, it basically, from for this router, it only depends, because I cannot get a higher, you know, internet connection than one gigabit that I have here. So this one will, will do the job quite fine. And also like you saw in the Wi-Fi sector. So this was it. Thank you very much and um, have a great day.